Hello, it's Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Maker. Uh, hello, Mr. Cactus. So we're playing on the, the W31A. Wait, oh, ah, come back here. Let me kill you with my sword. Sword of Flames. Okay, you're lucky. You're a pig, and I don't have enough of you yet. Cow. <laughs> I'm here, Mr. Cow. <laughs> oh, man. Hi, cows. Um, I wanted to do a little update here on on my uh, egg eggomatic. Notice it's producing a ridiculous amount of raw chicken and not that many eggs. Hello, Rain. Um, for some reason. The last couple snapshots, this thing can only sustain about five chickens. Really? Really, Thunder? That's all you got? Oh, okay. That's a little better. I can see my portal house from here. Um, I wonder what the danger of lightning is, realistically. And if you can build a lightning rod to sort of deflect it, like... Will the lightning more, be more likely to hit my cobblestone generator? Ooh. Or the cactus farm, which is completely made out of wool. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Um, so, yeah, there's like five chickens in here right now. Um, I've been seeing three sort of on average. Oh, come on. Are you not actually there? There you go, because I know I should be hitting you. There we go. Oh, you think you're all fancy in your leather, your old time football outfit, huh? to lead okay creep oh it's getting nasty out here it's almost night time too oh come on they changed the aiming on the arrows okay screw it uh, it's almost another time we should go in, but I wanted to show you this. Um, the egg machine in action. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the uh, the water upstairs. Let the chickens all filter into my little crushing chamber here. Yeah, see, they're like damaging each other, just falling into this space. I don't understand why. And he just died. And I've got chicken laying on the ground. Interesting. Okay. Four more. So, why am I collecting raw chicken, you may ask? Um, well, because we kind of need it. I will show you why. Let's get some eggs in the meantime. Starting to use up my eggs. I thought I had so many eggs I would never ever use them all, but guess what? I'm starting to use them. I turn that on. The eggs will start flowing out of there, and they will flow up into the top, and some of them will hatch into baby chickens. Watch that. See, I've got a few babies here. And that'll go until all the eggs flush through the system. And, and then they'll grow up into adults. And then they will just start dying. So this, the whole point of this system was to collect eggs for the most part. 
the adults would sit up there they'd swim around no problem and they'd drop eggs and they'd come down here this system is never supposed to get eggs down in here but it does I don't have any right now because I cleared them out but sometimes some of the chickens will stand right in the center just like these two babies will do and uh, and they won't move and they'll grow up and they'll lay eggs and they'll end up down in the chest here so this doesn't I don't know this stopped behaving completely reliably at some point oh, okay so that's done so all the eggs out of here are now being filtered through the elevator and shot into the reservoir I got a few chickens all right okay cool so poop 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 and that, that'll just go on its merry way I don't need to stay here for it oh shoot hello mr. creeper let's do something about you there's another one right there why can I hit these things did they I swear I'm hitting this guy aren't I what the hell's going on did they change the arrow mechanics oh there we go okay and you can hear the chickens are already dying the babies so this this becomes not very efficient but what it so this is supposed to be an egg machine in fact I was gonna go decorate the outside with the wall and make a big giant egg a pixel art but um, now it's mostly a raw chicken machine. Not supposed to behave that way, but it does. It's okay. Um, because I need raw chicken. And I don't have an automatic uh, killer machine anywhere. Okay, let's go to bed. Mm, sorry okay hey guy you can stop raining now thank you hi chickens okay hey there's a zombie inside my gate skeleton how'd you get in well it's oh witch out of range oh take that burn to death okay I also need sugar cane Just the rest of the crops not ready but I can grab this right wow creepers galore way short goodness It's like I have to relearn how to shoot a bow. What's going on here? There we go. Hmm. Yeah, this stuff's still growing in. Okay. So let's take a walk. Let me show you some of the stuff I'm working on over here. Um, ah, I dammed off my river. And I'm scraping out the bottom of the riverbed a bit. Uh, collecting sand and, and hopefully clay and whatnot. And making it a little deeper. I'm doing a section at a time, so I'll, I'll extend along there. Um, that witch, did that witch survive? I don't know. Anyway, so that's a work in progress. Um, I think I want to, because I've got a, a three block drop here, and it's a bit scary. So I'm going to want to terraform the uh, the banks a little bit more, so that it leads up to my, to my hilltop area a bit better. I cleared out some, jeez. Oh, I cleared out some uh, some of the trees here some of the forest no experience WT hack what's going on 
Okay. Whoa. Oh, they changed something here. Okay. Let's just go. Go, go, go. Oh, there's some more experience balls here. Okay, so this might be interesting. So I cleared out some trees here. I'm going to replant some. I may adjust the uh, the landscaping a little bit before I do that. It's a little weird to walk up along the bank here and not see any trees up here. Um, and it is a forest biome, so it was pretty densely packed, but I needed to thin things out a bit. It was a bit too, too dense. Uh, and you can see the huge deposits of... Uh, sand not huge sand and there's some clay down there I think that's clay here All right yeah sand clay um, that are uh, underneath the water here and I just don't have that much sand and clay uh, obviously where I went and got my starter cactuses um, that's better uh, I uh, there's lots of sand there because it's a freaking desert. What's going on? Ooh. Okay. That makes me nervous. All right, welcome back. Um, that makes me a little nervous. So always a risk of world corruption when you get a crash while it's saving. Sorry, that was annoying. I will not do that again. Okay, well let me show you this over here anyway. It's in the world backup, so I may go back to it. Um, you remember I had the little village over here that was my away base? Well look, I've got villagers now. Uh, they had been all killed, presumably in a zombie raid. Uh, so one of my things I would always wanted to do is sort of restore 32 I don't have that much paper on me um, restore the uh, the village and um, hello are you a butcher leather worker I don't have nine leather okay thank you um, and so I I've been rehabbing this uh, this village which is kind of cool um, I want to do more Hey, close. Oh, hello. Are you the butcher? Hello, Mr. Butcher. Oh, you're the expensive butcher. I don't want to talk to you. So I have a couple butchers. Um, a leather worker. A librarian. I don't have a cleric. I don't have a farmer. Hi, Mr. Butcher. You're the cheap one. Give me some emeralds. Ha! <laughs> ah, yeah, okay. Are you going to get a new trade, though? Oh, let me go, uh... Okay. Hey, hey, you're the expensive butcher. Let me get what you're gonna give me. Get a couple more out of there. Huh. You gonna get new trades? Yes, hello. <laughs> okay, 14, 18, 24. Yeah, okay. Eight, 15, 18. Okay. Very good. Now you guys have been trading. You might be a little bit in the mood. Go for it. All right. So um, I'll show you how I did because I had no villagers and this was the only village I had ever come across. So I had built. Oh, who's in here? I built these zombie catchers. Leather worker. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> hi, Mr. Sheep. That was cute. So I built these zombie catchers out here. And uh, I basically ran around at night. I, I pushed, um, I cleared out the grass here to make it a little bit easier to, to see and navigate. And uh, planted, I brought out the tree line a little bit. It kind of ran up into the hills. I kind of pushed it out here a bit. And so the zombies would come and uh, I'd kill them. So they'd call for reinforcements. And when one of these zombird guys, one of the zombie villagers, came along, I'd run up here. And they'd walk in here in a little zombie trap and I'd block them in. At least that was the plan. It worked the first time. Um, and because after that, of course, all the zombies show up. And they do a little conga line around the outside perimeter. And trying to get in 
to uh, to snack on the villagers. I yeah, okay. So that's no good. Um, so I've got I've got four or five. I think I have five villagers in here at the moment. I want to get more, uh, Mr. Butcher. No, go on. Be my guest. Thank you. Uh, I built a couple additional houses here. Um, this one's all doors. <laughs> it's got 16 doors on it, so it should count as 16 buildings. Unless they changed that mechanic. I don't think they did. Uh, and, um, and I added doors to other buildings. So the village should be able to support more villagers than it currently has. Um, and I... Maybe I have three butchers. It's, it's a little confusing. I don't have a, a farmer yet. Um, that's so I'm hoping to get more a farmer and a cleric are the ones I want. Um, and then I can build the wheat farm. I've got some sheep running around inside the village. I may have to slaughter them because they keep trampling the wheat. And then so I put these fences around it. Did I just miss you or... Um, yeah, so I, I put in some sugar cane there because the librarian wants paper. I don't know that it's a particularly good paper trade, but it's close enough. And I should have some more paper in here. Do I have more leather? I have some. Oh yeah, we can make this work. Let's go trade. Let's find the leather worker guy. And it's getting dark, and I'll show you. Uh, I'll show you what the zombies look like. Uh, the attempted zombie attack in the middle of the night. And when I'm over here, I have to be careful to make sure the zombies don't get in because there's a couple. I've had a couple where the zombies have gotten inside, and it's I don't know. I don't know how. Hi, butchers. Go on. Get in the mood. Make babies. Um. So. Since the zombie traps, the zombie catchers stopped working after the first village, after I cured the first villager. Um, oh, hello, Mr. Librarian. Here you are. Yeah. Oh, come on. Okay. If I get, if I buy some glass, will you, uh, will you take some of my paper? Yeah. No. Uh. Uh. I agree. Your trades suck. I'm breaking two uh, aqua affinity for 19 emeralds. Okay, how about I buy another piece of glass? How about I buy a couple more pieces of glass for you? Uh. Now I max that out. Whoa. I know it's getting dark. Really? Okay. Okay. So now it's getting dark. It's nighttime. Everybody should be inside. I think I have everything lit up on the inside. Not very nicely. A lot of it's just torches. Try to keep them on the building as much as possible. But, um. Yeah. So. So I tried waiting for uh, another zombie villager to show up and then building a trap around him but of course the moment I laid down a piece of cobblestone next to the fence he jumped up on it and jumped over the fence and I had to kill him to hack his face off so um, I, I, I figured out the, the safest way to do it was to build fences around them like this hello how are you? How are you feeling? You you look a little green. You look like you're not feeling that well. So as I'm wandering around here, I have to worry about things like this. Hello, Mr. Creeper. Let me shoot you in the face. Hello, Mr. Stuck Creeper. Trying to swim. Wow, they're just all over the place. 
So I do have to worry about the creepers. I had one blow up on the other side over there. It screwed up my landscaping and the fence a bit. And I just have to sort of run patrols. So the zombies, they... Because the villagers like this house and they like that house. And the closest they can get to it is right here. So the zombies kind of uh, gather in here on one side. And they they gather in around here on the other side. That guy, of course, uh, I, I tracked over there. He was He was a little slippery. They will start showing up. I have villagers here. But I do have to make sure that the zombies, uh, if they get inside, come... Oh, hello, our first customer. Tell your friends. No, really, tell your friends. Okay. That should bring reinforcements. Oh, here's one. I don't know where he just came from, but... No, don't go down there. It's my cave. One small problem, the experience, my XP farm, the, ske the skeleton XP farm, is down here. So it's, when I'm down there, if I go down overnight, um, this chunk is loaded, and if a zombie happens to get inside, he could do some damage. So I have to make this thing, make sure this um, the village is properly reinforced, so... I've been hanging out and spending nights here just doing this. Protecting it from the the beasties. You gonna die? Hello guys, how are you? So I guess the uh the zomberts, the zombie villagers are um about five percent of zombie spawns. So in theory, oh, sorry. Um, uh, every every twenty zombies I see have about a fifty-fifty chance of one of them being zombie villager. Roughly. In theory, uh, every twenty, I should I should have an average chance of seeing one. Um, Well, we're in between waves here. Let me go pick up a couple things. So the, the the villagers haven't been... Why do I have cooked chicken in my pocket? Get rid of some of this. Um, the villagers haven't been um, breeding as much as I'd like. Oh, wait. Hey, come back here. So... We'll, um, and I'm not 100% not certain what to do about that. I, I know that there's the, uh, do the sort of infinite villager breeding thing. Um, and maybe, maybe that's what I need to do. build a, a tower here and uh, move one of the villagers up above the others and surround that tower with doors so that everyone thinks they need to help the lonely villager up in the air um, but apparently one of the changes in 1.8 is that the villagers have to be kind of in the mood they just don't automatically breed if the village doesn't have enough villagers in it so you have to trade with them in order to get them to breed oh a little baby skeleton let's take care of him take care of you Oh, you're not dead yet. Because you're wearing armor. And you're not dead yet. What's your problem? Okay. Oops. Sorry. Sound like little baby villagers. 
going on vacation. I think I mentioned that. We're going on a cruise. Leave it on Friday in a couple days. Hello, Mr. Enderman. Would you like to have your ass kicked? Don't tell me you're stuck. Oh, criminy. I need your pearl. Yeah, die. I can take you, dude. Show yourself. face. Criminy, what's up with all the creepers? Ugh. Yeah, the sheep. I'm going to have to do something about the sheep because that's... I'm going to accidentally... Oh, no. Ah, dang. It was a spaz, but it worked out okay. Oh, okay. Sun's coming up. Couple more normal zombies here. Hi guys. Okay. Dang it. It's right where the other one happened. Ugh. Oh, shoot. Ah, dang it. Okay, hang on a second. Emergency mode. Before the villagers get out. Crap, crap. Come on. Oh, crap. I don't even have enough fence. Okay, there's another one. Um, there's another one. Okay, build a wall. Oh. Okay. You okay? Everyone okay? I've got more fence in here, so. Jeez. Oh, I wonder if stone walls are, are more blast protective than fences. I bet they are. I should probably rebuild the whole thing with stone walls. Oh, maybe I don't have any fences. Maybe I brought them all back with me because I'm a freaking idiot. Okay. Let's make some more, because I need some more. I need fences big time right now. Alright, so take that, and then do right this. No! Oh, that should be enough for now. Huh. <sighs> Okay. Well, that was dumb. <laughs> and of course, I took out my gate. I don't think I have a gate in my pocket. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay. Yeah. Here's the gate. Don't drop it. Jeez. Yeah. All right. Well, let's repair some creeper damage here. <sighs> Make sure there are no other bad guys on the horizon here. Stupid little 
villagers don't even know what I'm doing for them. I'm just run around opening doors like opening closing doors like freaking five year olds. Okay. Oh okay. Okay. So, let's re-do uh, this, and do this, and get rid of you. Okay. Okay, I hope you're happy. Stupid creepers. Okay. So, let's go over to the other side of the village here, where we have our Zombert. He's, uh, he hasn't despawned because I, I gave him some dirt to hang on to happily uh, accommodating that request so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna cure him as so we are I've got a splash potion of weakness I'm gonna throw that at him oh feeling a little ill there huh buddy oh, let me do this because don't want to accidentally eat one of them oh it's okay it's called withdrawal you'll be you'll be you'll be feeling better in a few minutes I promise you like new good as rain right as rain what is whatever okay let's uh it, it, he literally is going to take like he's going to do that for like five minutes and then he'll turn into a villager and we'll see what type of villager he is and then we have to coax him to come inside that was you growling right yeah okay good all right so ah <sighs> yeah fencing off a uh a village in the hills like this where there's landscape it's not completely flat is a bit challenging because you get into corners here and uh, if if the fence doesn't go far enough off the corner um, you can jump over like I could jump over here like that um, but I think I got it so that yeah so you can't do it from the outside in because some of these guys were pathfinding their way in or they were spawning inside, I don't know which. So I've gone around and made sure that I lit everything. And where on the hills here, I extend a second layer of fence up high, far enough that nobody should be able to jump over. And uh, yeah, so the, the village should be relatively secure. You still won't take any paper from me, huh? Okay. So, yeah. How Zombert's doing? Got a couple more sugar cane I can harvest. Yeah, the DTs are hard. I know. You'll be you'll be better in a moment. I should probably tear down the zombie catchers because they just don't work anymore. Because they won't track me. When I'm running around outside, they will not follow me in. And what I'm thinking, it might be it might be useful to build one of these where put a pressure plate, make this another block long. I run in. Oh, I don't know how it's going to work. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I put the pressure plate up here. So when the zombie comes in, I step on the pressure plate and it raises a wall behind them. I don't know. I was thinking if we could get these zombies to walk in them automat oh I know. Oh I have an idea. I'm gonna have to try it. Not near here. If I put a villager up here actually I could do it near here. I place a villager. Oh, yeah, he doesn't like the sound of this. He knows where this is going. Put a villager up here. And put a pressure plate here. So that when the... <sighs> With slime blocks, I might be able to actually put a, a roof over it. Now, the roof can, can be there automatically. Put a villager 
pressure plate pushes a wall behind them so they get trapped in. I like the idea. And make it so the pressure plate basically triggers the circuit. Hello, Mr. Shepard. Oh, I don't have enough wool for you. I have all kinds of wool at home, though. Okay, well, welcome. I'm glad you're feeling better. Let me get you out of there. Yeah, I know. He wasted no time at all. I had one guy that just wouldn't move. He uh, just stayed in the little uh, the little trap area and did not want to move at all. Oh, why did I do that? Okay. Gate over here, right here. All right. So anyway, that's the uh, the village rehab. Um, so we now have five or six villagers, including a shepherd. That might be worth building a wolf farm. Okay, where'd the uh, where'd the shepherd guy go? It'd be nice if he would be, you know, like the the farmer villagers now. They'll 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 tend to the crops. Be nice if the shepherd would tend to a flock of sheep. That'd be kind of cool. And your leather worker. A librarian, your butcher. So the butcher and the, the leather worker have very similar appearances. Hi, Shepherd. Twenty-two wool. I just don't have twenty-two wool on me. Okay, I'm gonna get some and come back. Anyway, uh, I think we're going to call that an episode. And uh, thank you for watching very much. I do appreciate it. And uh, I will see you next time uh, after my cruise. So I will be, it'll be a little while. Oh, look, I got a lot of blue wool. Why do I have this much blue wool on me? I do not know. But that's okay. I don't really care. Let's, oh, and let's grab some of these. I don't know. Let's find my shepherd. Hey, dude. Either one. Doesn't matter. Hi, Mr. Shepherd. Oh, it can't be colored. You're kidding me. Urgh. Okay. All right. Well, I have some white wool at home. And with the string farm, I can make lots of white wool. But that's annoying. All right. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Um, I will be back after I'm back from my, my trip. And uh, so have a, good, have a good week or two. And uh, I will see you later. All right. Bye.